This is in some of y'all church. This is in some of y'all homes. That's right. Now, your pastor is telling you Jesus' birthday is coming on the 25th. Amen. Your pastor is a liar. The Bible ain't never said Jesus was born December 25th. Not only is your pastor a liar, your mama. That's right. You talking about my mama? Your mama. Amen. Your daddy. Children, there is no Santa Claus. Your mama or your daddy bought them presents. There is no Santa Claus. There ain't no man four and five hundred pounds coming down your chimney and live and talk about it. Not today. Stop lying. This is heathenism. Heathenism. This is paganism. That's right. This ain't got nothing to do with God. That's right. Everybody go hungry all year, then the church get a spell from hell and want to give out turkeys in December. Hungry all year long. All year long, folks is hungry. And then the church get a spell from hell. And all of a sudden, want to get involved in a community, you That's bunch right. of heathens. Amen. Jesus stayed involved. Yes, he did. Didn't he? Yes, yes, he did. Amen. You see, folks ain't used to this kind of preaching. You see, I am. I'm from the hood. Like Brother Craig said, I'm from the hood. And any of you from the hood, you know a hustle when you see it. Oh, yes. How is it that many of you people are so educated? You are so educated, you can't see a racket. Church is the biggest racket in the world. And the reason why you cannot see the racket going on in your church, you don't know the Bible. That I want you to judge yourself tonight, Delaware. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. What? Learn not the way of the heathen. I want you to judge yourself and ask yourself, are you a heathen tonight? Amen. A heathen. Heathen. Not a Christian. A heathen. That's right. Yeah, a heathen. Yeah. Not a Christian. A heathen. Heathen. I want to emphasize on the H. A heathen. That's right. Huh? I want you to. I want you to get the breeze. The Bible says Jesus breathed on them. That's right. A heathen. Amen. Judge yourself now. Amen. Judge yourself. Yeah. All of you that say Jesus was born December twenty fifth. You lied on the Son of Man. That's right. You lied on the Messiah. That's right. You lied on Christ. Yeah. When you go to a church and your preacher got to preach a sermon, you got a heathen for a yeah. pastor. Yeah. In fact, if any of you here are pastors here in Dover, Delaware, and that's what you told the people, use a heathen. That's a heathen. Use a Pentecostal or Apostolic or Baptist or non-denominational or Lutheran or Mormon. Heathen. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not. Learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Why? For the heathen are dismayed at them. Read to Dover, Delaware, what the heathens do here. For the customs of the people are vain. Anything that's vain is no good. No good. What do they do, son? For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Oh. Cut it. You ain't got to cut it now. Yeah. They cut it for you and sell it to you. That's right. They cut the tree down at the forest. What they do, son? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. What they do? They deck it. With what? With silver and with gold. Deck it. Deck it. And what did God call them that do this? Learn not the way of the heathen. And what do the heathen do to the tree? They deck it with silver and with gold. It's right there. Fa la 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 la. Now all mother, mother, father, son, don't all happy. Rudolph the fool nose reindeer. He never had a shiny nose. You sing a liar, just like you tell one, you liars. That's a lie. Amen. You lie. You thought you was a Christian, didn't you? Mm -hmm. The word Christian means being like Christ. That's right. What do Christ and Christmas got in common? Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Because Christ is not a heathen. That's right. He ain't never left for a record when his birthday was. No. Never. Never. Give me the first chapter book of Luke. Mm -hmm. Let's see what month 
that Gabriel came, came to, to Mary. Mary. That's right. That's right. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 1. Follow me. And we'll start reading at verse 26. Move quick. And in the sixth month. We're in the sixth month. The angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. And what? To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph. Now, Gabriel came to Mary in the sixth month. In the sixth month. So that means she conceived in the sixth month. That's right. With the English calendar, the sixth month will be June. That's right. June, June, July, August, September, October, November, December.